Okay guys, so I'm really excited about today's subject matter because I think it's really handy and really helpful. So as you could see from like the title and from the um, thumbnail, I'm gonna show y'all how to create a watermark that you can put on all of your pictures so that when you post on social media, that watermark is already on it. And so I can show you what I'm talking about real quick. I just did this this morning with um, one of our agents, he's awesome. His name is Richard Savage. I actually met with him this morning and that's how I got the idea to go ahead and make the video on this. But you can see, these are Richard's Instagram posts, right? And so you can see on every single post he does, he creates, a he puts a watermark on it. Another person who does this and does it well is um, Ricardo. So I'll show you his real quick as well. So if I go to his um, Instagram, you could see that on most of the things that he posts, he has a watermark that's attached to it. So a watermark is different than a logo because it can have different things. It doesn't necessarily just have to be your logo. Um, you can put your phone number, you can put your website, you can put like a hashtag. You can see like he has different ones that he uses, but he puts them on all of his stuff. Like even this picture of a house, it has it. And so what I wanted to show y'all today is how to create that watermark. And so the best way that I found to do it is to do it, go through Canva. So Canva is free. However, if you want to create a transparent watermark, you'll have to get the pro version. You can get the pro version free for 30 days and then cancel it. Um, if you're like me, I don't like paying for additional services. So um, that's just probably the like cheat way to do it. But Canva Pro is awesome too. But everything that you really need in Canva is free, so that's totally up to you. And so I'll show you what kind of one looks like that's already done. So you can see this one is um, Richard's. I've done some for like other agents as well. And so you can see these don't necessarily have phone numbers, but you can add those phone numbers if you want to. You can make it say whatever you want. So I'm gonna make one for myself. So the first thing you do is you log into Canva, right? What I usually do is I usually make it in the shape of a square. So the easiest way for me to do that is to do it as an Instagram post. So if I click right here where it says Instagram post, it's gonna give me a blank um, canvas. If you, sometimes if you click on Instagram post, it'll give you, it'll have left, on the left it'll have blank and then I'll have all these templates. Um, just click on the blank one. And so from here, this is where you can start putting what you want on your watermark. So if on my pictures, I want it to say my name, usually what I do instead of dealing with the fonts, I just go to text and I see what I like. So for example, if I like how this looks, I can use that. I can make this say my name and you can space it out. You can make it bigger, however you want. And then if I just want it to have my name and then maybe right here, or if I want it to say my name and then um, we'll do tech. For you, you can put realtor. Um, I'll just put techie girl. Or I'll just put tech. Um, you can actually like, fix the spacing on here too. So if like you were to put realtor, um, but you didn't like how it kind of overlapped, there's this little button and it's called, that's not what I wanted. And it's called, let me see if I can find it. It's right here, you put the little dots and then right here, you can actually fix what's called the spacing. And then the line height is what it'll, what it'll separate them a little bit more. And so for me, I'm just gonna do Regina Deason and then I'll put tech. And then right here, this is where you can put either your website or whatever you wanna see on your watermark. And so for me, I personally, and you know what, I'm gonna make it just say my name. For me, I personally love it when the social media handles are there. And so what I would do, if this was mine, um, I would go to elements. So Canva has all these elements that you can use. So if you search, you can search for Instagram. And you can see all the different ones that they have in there for you to use. And so like if I wanted to use, let's see, I like all of these, but I like to keep it classy and simple. And even if you choose one, um, you can change the color of it. So just choose like the way you like it. I like this one because it's a little thinner, but like say I wanted it to be pink. You can make it be whatever color that you want. And so I'm just gonna keep it simple and keep it black. And then you can make them smaller, you can make them bigger, however you want. Um, but right here, I would put it right below like the line that I want. 
And then if I wanted to put my Facebook in there too, I could search for Facebook and then find the one that I like. And so if it was me, I'd probably just use the, um, just the F. And then you can maneuver it and have them formatted however you want. And so I usually just put them next to each other to where it looks centered. And so right here, the lines, the line height, it's still kind of off for me. So I would go in here and maneuver it a little bit more. You can even space this out more if you want to. Um, however, this is your watermark. You can make this look however you want it to, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine like that. Move this around to where I like it. And then once you have your icons the way you want them, it's gonna be all funky now. Okay, so now once you have your icons the way you like them and you're ready to like add more information, all you have to do is add over here where it says text. I just go in there and do add a subheading and that's where I personally would put in like my username. So my username is the same on pretty much everything. Um, and then once you have it, you can change the font. So I would want my font to match this one. So if I click on it, I can hit this little, where it's the fonts are, and it actually tells you the fonts that are in like your Canva already or what's in your design. So like this is the one that I have up here. And so then I can make this smaller, I can make it bigger, I can um, like format it however I want. And then once I like it, I'll put it in the center, I'd probably make it a little bit smaller. Um, but you can add whatever you want, whether it be your hashtag, whether it be your phone number, whatever it may be that you want to add, you can. So once you have the design and once you like it and you're like, yes, I wanna put this on all of my like pictures, what you can do is you can hit this little download button. And so this is why the pro one's important because the pro one will let you download it as a transparent background. And that means that this white box won't be there. If it doesn't bother you, then you can leave it, but I like it to be transparent. That way I can put it on top of other pictures. So then I can hit download. And so that's gonna download the black version of it. And so say I have a black picture that I wanna put like a different color on top of it, you can change these out too. Usually what I do is I leave like the black one and I'll hit this button that says copy page. That way in here, I can change the color, but I still have access to the black one if I ever need to re-download it. So like say I wanna do a white one. I would just go in here and change all of the colors to be um, white instead of black. And so you can go in here. Let's see, it might be a little bit funky because I have to move the thing around before I can change these to be the other color. Okay, then I would move this back down. And if you wanna see what it looks like, my trick is just changing the background real quick and making sure that everything's lined up the way it's supposed to. And then you can go back and change it back to the white. And then from here, I would download it, transparent background, but instead of all pages, I'll just download the second page because I already did the, um, the first one. And you can change these to be whatever color you want. So once you have them downloaded, um, usually what I do right off the bat is I just upload them into my Canva so that I always have access to them. You can of course airdrop them to yourself or mail them to yourself. So if you use a different marketing tool and you wanna just have it um, to put on top of pictures, you can. But today we're focusing on Canva. And so I would put them in my Canva. So now whenever I go and do a marketing piece, like if I wanted to do, um, let's see, let's, do, let's keep it real estate related. Say I wanted to do, let's see what they have for open house. So if I wanted to do, oh, these are kind of cute. So if I go in here and I wanna promote my open house, but I wanna put my watermark on top of it, I can go in here and choose the one that I like. So say it's this one. So this one, you could see like the black one wouldn't really show up. So that's why I'm glad I did the white one too. But that way you have it so you can put it on top of it. Just be careful guys, whenever in Canva you upload a picture, sometimes um, if it's like a grid at the top, it'll replace the grid with your watermark. So the best way to avoid that is to move it by like the corners. Um, this one, however, it's not gonna do that, but I could still go in here and like put in my watermark or I could put it down here or wherever I want it. 
And so it's just like a fast way to put like a good watermark in there. And then you can change, of course, the details or whatever you want to make the flyer yours. And once you have it, you can download it. And then if you want it for social media, just make sure you do a PNG. But once you download it, let's see. I like Canva because they have cute little sayings. But when you open it, you'll see now your design has your watermark on there. So I think that's super fun. And you can also like say there's a picture of your clients that you want to create a like social media post. That's when I would still do like an Instagram post. So it's the shape of a square. And then what I do right off the bat is I go and add a grid so I don't have to worry about sizing of the picture. So the grid that I use is I go to elements and then I use this first grid where it's just the square. So that way it takes up the whole post. And then where I go to photos, this is where I, or when I go to uploads, I can actually upload an image of like the clients that I want to share or the house that I want to promote. And so for example, say this is, let's see what I have in here. Say for example, this is the house that I want to, this is my listing and I want to promote it, but I just want to put my watermark on it. You could, oh, hang on. You can actually drag it and because you put that grid there, it'll replace the whole photo. And then if you double click, you can move them back and forth however you want. And then what's cool is that you already have your watermark in there. So you can select it and then this is what I was talking about earlier. Some of them, if you have the grid, it'll automatically replace it. So your work around that is whenever you select it, the little corners are gonna be your best friend because then you can um, format it to where you want it. Um, it's a little bit of extra work, but it works. Or if you like how the black one looks better on there, you can use that one. That's why I do a couple of just different colors. That way um, I can see what looks best and what shows up better. And so once you do that, and you can make it as big as you want, totally up to you. Once you have it, what you can do is you can hit download, same thing, download it again, and then you'll be able to see that picture with that watermark. So it's totally up to you. Um, what I showed Richard this morning is AirDrop. So if you have an iPhone and you have a MacBook, what you can do is you can actually hit this little button that hit, says share and you can hit airdrop and you can send it to yourself and it'll go into your camera roll. That way it's ready on your phone to share. Or if you have, if you don't have a Mac or an iPhone, it's, it's easy too because you just go to your Gmail. And so once you're in your Gmail, what you can do is you can actually hit compose and then you can drag it in there so that when you open this email on your phone, you can save it. And then or if you just want to post it right off the bat, you can go to your business page and then, let's see, I'll just use, I'll use the KWIP one for example today. Okay, so once you are, you're at your business page, it's really easy for you to use that watermarked picture now too. Because um, now it's, I mean, on your computer. But if you wanted to do it on Instagram, you'd have to send it to your phone. But then you're ready to caption it and post it. So that's how you do that Canva watermark. You can get really creative with it. You can make it really simple. You can have multiple versions of it. Totally up to you. Um, but your pictures and your profile just look a lot more professional and a lot fancier when you have one of those watermarks on them.